Well, the decision was really made by the Roosevelt administration, Franklin D. Roosevelt. Uh, the War Department, under pressure from the Roosevelt administration, finally decided to establish what became the first black flying unit in history, the 99th Pursuit Squadron, which later became the 99th Fighter Squadron. Eventually, the 332nd Fighter Group was also set up at Tuskegee. The 477th Bombardment Group, uh, which Wilk belonged to, was later set up at uh, Selfridge Field, Michigan. But it got pilots from the twin engine trainees at Tuskegee. So all the black pilots, whether they flew fighters or bombers, trained at Tuskegee. So Wilk, you were 18 at the time that you signed up. Well, actually I always wanted to fly since uh, being quite young. I used to build model airplanes and all that sort of thing. I've got tales to tell about that too, but a friend of mine and I, Lewis Sires, were still in our senior year in high school and we went down to volunteer to get into flight training passed the test and were accepted. And within two weeks after graduation, we were on the train going south to become a part of that. Where did you take this test? Somewhere downtown Chicago, I don't remember anymore. So was it common knowledge then that, that uh, Negroes were able then to sign up for flight training? I think it wasn't common knowledge, but uh, we were interested <clears throat> in aviation and uh, we pursued the, the CAP, Civilian Air Patrol, etc., and that's probably where we got the insight into it. This was your first trip to the South, I understand. Yes, it was. Uh, we were sent to um, Montgomery on a train, and starting out we had uh, accommodations that allowed uh, a Pullman service. You'd sleep overnight in the, in the uh, berths, whatever they pull them section. And uh, that was nice, first time in that experience, uh, a bit tense. Turns out by the time we got up, we were south of the Mason-Dixon line, and all of that broke down, and we had to go to the coach up next to the coal tender up in the front of the train. And uh, other people went back to the club cars or wherever else they were seated. So that was quite a difference in an experience, too. So that's your first real taste of segregation? First real hard taste of segregation. Yeah, we had right. segregation back in Chicago Heights, where I was born. Sure. 